When I'm out on the road, I'm at a trade show, um, and I'm not out on the road like they used to be, but I, I get posed with the question, how do you make the fuel mileage claims that you do? And first of all, I don't guarantee fuel mileage. It's there to be had. You know, if you listen to my words, it's there to be had, because some people keep a daily log of what they're burning, and they can figure out the averages over a period of time. You know what? Those people, we do great with. The ones that say, oh, I'm getting five, five to six. They don't know what they're getting, so how do you improve that? Because our fuel mileage gain on a semi falls in that five, five to six, because we have a solid four tenths of a mile per gallon to be had. Now, six NZs, we just had that question. A lot of those guys with more power to begin with get a higher fuel mileage gain because they're not using the horsepower side of what we give them. From our documentation of talking from these Fortune, about these Fortune 500 companies, how you have a short burn versus a long burn, how the air throws that timing off. I'm talking about a suction side filter. If you have a pump in a tank and you're pushing through filters, the reason that like you on use, a, Like on a pickup truck, yeah, right? Yeah, thank you. If you're pushing through clog filters, you, won't have, you lose power but for a different reason. You're just not delivering fuel, okay? But if you have a suction side filter and you're sucking through that filter, you, you're losing flow also, but what you're doing, you're having fuel starvation due to air and vapor, okay? Cavitation. You know, we put a clean filter on, we run down, we run, 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 and that thing's getting dirty little by little. Your restrictions going up but little by little, your fuel mileage and power is coming down little by little, and so is the life of your fuel injection system, mm -hmm. okay? Now, if we just keep running it and running it and running it, it'll eventually die. But if you run it, you're starving that engine for fuel. And I want to say this, you can have a net positive flow to an engine, and if you don't have the air out of it, you're still, in a way, starving the engine for pure fuel. Yep, yep. But we're just talking about fuel mileage and power. As that filter plugs, you lose all that. Take that dirty filter off, put a clean one back on. You just reduce the restriction, so your horsepower and fuel mileage goes up. Great. But well, you just you reduced it. You you didn't eliminate it though. The restriction's right. still there. Yes. Oh, okay. That leads to the next step. Go to a test cell. Caterpillar, Cummins, Zuzu. Go to their test cell, and I'm more likely the fuel tank is on top of the building by 15, 20 feet or so. That's a net positive suction hit. So we gained. When we went from a dirty filter to clean, we gained. If we go from you know, the clean filter to a test cell, we're going to gain fuel mileage and horsepower again. Now, guess what? They still have 10% air in their fuel per caterpillar. Okay, So now, we take the benefit of that test cell away, we put it on our real world application. Mm -hmm. A dozer, a boat, a pickup truck, a semi. Mm -hmm. Now we just lost that, and now we're back to the suction side. With that being understood, that's where FAST comes in. We'll replace that test cell, but we'll also take out the 10% air that's in that fuel per caterpillar. We'll take that out. So if you're gaining from the dirty to a clean, from a clean to a, te a test cell, there's another step to be gained. But we're going to save the fuel from a suction side filter to the FAST. That's what we do.